what we did see over here was that there is uh, in in a 60 memory cell there is some ratioed thing that is coming into picture there is this tmos that is sinking some current there is this nmos that is sinking some current that is driving some current and so on so there is a ratio thing that will come because we removed those four tmoses in the first step hmm so because of which there are certain figures of merit linked to a memory cell the first and the foremost the most important figure of merit of a memory cell is area area, area. sir it is so important a figure of merit that i tell you that you call a memory cell you know if i want a memory cell to be included in my library i would call it by the area area defines the name of the memory cell i would say 149 ll so 14.149 micron square cell in the ll flavor or 121 hs so 0.121 micron square cell in the hs flavor so area is such an important figure of merit that a memory cell is recognized By area, name ही वो हो जाता है उसका, okay? Beyond area, there are some electrical figures of merit, which are cell current. So we'll look into these in more detail in the next class, which is also called as read current. Then there is bit line leakage, cell stability. We looked at very fleetingly today. We will look at it in more detail tomorrow in the next class. Then there is something called retention voltage. I'm just leaving these terms with you so that they they kind of stay in your mind. and you can if you want to just read about them uh, somewhere okay i'm not saying whatever you read from the internet would be right or not but if you want you can read we will discuss them in much more detail in the next class then there is something called as write margin so you see we we took the bit line to zero you remember when during when we were writing we took the bit line to zero in reality can you really take any note to full zero it's an it's a capacitance through you will discharge it through some resistance so in reality it will follow that uh, rc curve hmm if the r is very less it will discharge very fast but still arriving at zero may not be possible so how high above zero can it be that i will be able to write into the memory cell that is what is called as write margin okay write time is intuitive the name the name itself suggests how long it does it take to write into the memory cell and we just now saw that uh, write one happens slower than write zero in a in a 60 memory cell with nmos pass gates zero is written first and then one is written so write time is typically measured when one is written completely hmm? and then leakage leakage is a very important figure of merit because as we just saw that out of 1024 words even when the memory is accessed only one word is on the remaining 1023 words are off so when they are off it means they are simply leaking not doing anything else so leakage is a very important figure of merit for a memory for a memory cell okay so these are the figures of merit that we will look at in the next class we will go into more detail we will look at how these figures of merit impact the sizing uh, the sizing constraints for the different devices and uh, subsequently we will look at stability and other features also in more detail theek hai so we can close the class here any questions sir in the last slide uh, right second wala first we are reading ke uh, jo andar ki slides hai 10 hai ya 01 hai then we are deciding ke blb and bl bar kya hona chahiye for writing purpose no we so, get the information from the user what is d what is the data that i not need to write into the memory cell okay based okay. on user this... input i decide whether i want to discharge bit line or bit line bar okay the same if the same data is already there and the user has also given the same data then there will be no change in the memory content yeah then the memory contents will remain same okay so pehle kya story is not for um, not of our I, i don't part. know i don't know what was stored earlier when i'm asked yes. to write i simply write yes got it hmm? anything else